T.O. is the Arizona left fielder. Dallas Moran already has struck out five. Galt can't get it. He made a diving try. And Montillo is aboard. Fixing in that slider. And not only does wipe out swing and miss pitch, but also in plus counts for a hitter. So if a hitter's looking fastball, he drops that slider on you. Runner is on the move. The peg down to second base is in there for plenty of time. Shortstop makes a diving tag for the out. Clay Pusho guns it down to Owen Galt, who had to make a heck of an acrobatic play around the bag. Well, ask Lynn Cicchini, who's the special player on this team? He pointed to Pusho behind the plate. The quick transfer. The 2-2. Two -two. There is the breaking ball. And Tiedemann swings over it. A couple of more strikeouts in the inning. Seven on the night for Moran. Barb High School. Ground ball left side. Gloved by the third baseman. Gets up, fires. Oh, yes! What a play by Kucherak. The second time we've seen him do something like that in this game. And what I love about Kucherak is he's under control. Even the ball, the bunt, he stayed under control. The guy was safe. It was a base hit. But the other two, he's just calm and under control. It's like he does it every day. The dive to his left side. Looks the runner back enough to make him fight, fight his way back to second so he's not able to get over to third and then makes an accurate throw, throw across the diamond. And everybody's expecting a fastball. You've got to respect the slider because he just threw it. Ashworth chokes up maybe a half inch, spreads the legs with a stance from the right side. Bryce McKnight from the belt to the plate. Line drive right center field. That's down for a base hit, and it will roll to the wall. LaRocca scores easily. Ashworth puts on the brakes at second base with a ringing double into the right center field gap. And Louisiana takes a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the third. Bryce McKnight went to the well one too many times. Stole second base and then scored on a two-out double by Ashworth. This ball is hit toward the gap in right center field. It's down, and it will roll to the wall as well. Quiller stops at second base, back-to-back -back RBI doubles by Ashworth and Quiller. Ashworth scoring on that. It's 2-0 Louisiana. They crack, and right here in the third, the leadoff walk has been the difference. Forbes is charging, picks it up with a bare hand, slings it over, safe at first base, and Quiller never stopped as he rounded third. Good people. That's why I came here with you, Lynn, in this broadcast. I mean, you surround yourself with good people, you can't help but be successful. Ground ball right side. Second baseman goes to a knee, slides, and makes the pickup. That's Donovan LaSalle who made the play. Let's watch the Up first up. baseman ah. reach for it. You see the dugout erupting. That's J.C. Vanek with a good play right at the fence. True. The 3-2 pitch smashed into left center field. It is down for a base hit. It rolls to the wall, and Louisiana has added to its lead. Here's the throw to third base. It is not in time. Owen Galt rams a triple into left center field, and he never hesitated as he spit the bit around second base. Oh, it batted bat. Galt can credit De La Salle for this one. De La Salle with a big time at bat ends up striking out, and then Owen Galt comes up behind and puts a good at bat together of his own. Venezuela has to work overtime, ends up splitting the plate. Galt with two runs in, the triple. And you never want to make the first or third out at third base. That was close at third. Getting to the championship game. The winner of this game will take on California tomorrow. Here comes the runner. Galt slides, and he is safe at the plate on a ball which got away from the catcher. So Galt on the wild pitch scampers home from third. Last four batters in this order have been on base seven times tonight. And that time, Quiller cannot find the fastball. But let's look at Owen Galt's two-run triple as he smashes it into left center field. The shortstop from Barb High School, Owen Gart, going to be a junior with the big triple. Against this red-hot Louisiana team. And red-hot Dallas Moran. That ball is 
off the top of the wall and over apparently I believe the umpire signaled a home run and yes it is a home run. How about Justin Chambers getting this fifth inning started with a bouncing home run it appeared down into the left field corner. 6 2 195 Justin Chambers is listed as a pitcher on the roster but clearly he can do both. What, a, what about how about the pop the opposite way the backspin on that ball the complete opposite way close. Three men aboard. Ground ball right side. And there is no play by the second baseman Donovan LaSalle who had to go deep to his left in a hurry and he just couldn't quite get there in time. The 2 1 pitch grounded sharply to the backhand side of the shortstop. He's able to knock it down and keep it on the infield, but there is no play. Ashton Zacker with an infield hit to the left side. And this comeback continues. We've got a two run ball game right now. A liner up the middle. This will potentially tie the game. And it gets loose as it's beyond Quiller. It rolls all the way to the wall. Here comes the batter around third. He will make it, and Arizona takes the lead. A single and a misplay in center field. And Arizona has come all the way back and then some. Man, oh man, you talk about the wheels falling off here in the fifth inning. This ball is a missile back up the middle. And Quiller out in center field has had a great night offensively, just lets it go right up under him. All four runs score for Arizona now. You're human, and so your mind starts to wander, and that's when mistakes can happen. The out at third, the throw across, and it gets away from the first baseman. I thought that maybe Aaron Sebia would come to the plate. It probably made sense to get your first out at home. You're right, because you want to cut off as many runs as you can. He goes down on strikes, and it's a liner to left center field. That's down for a base hit. It's cut off before the warning track by McIntyre, but a shot to center by LaRocca. That hops by the shortstop. LaSalle drives it all the way to the wall. And Victorian is on his way to the plate. He is safe. So Louisiana gets one back on a blow by LaSalle. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. It's coming. He struck him out. Walk to the eight hole Montejo and now another three ball count. And that's a pitch right down Main Street as it freezes McIntyre. Three strikeouts in the inning. The last chance for Louisiana coming up trailing by two. Approach. The three two pitch again. Rounded to the left side. Third baseman comes up firing out at first base. What a strong arm we've seen from third base all night long. Checo has been really good in relief. Let's see if he can finish the deal. High fly ball out to shallow right field, and it is caught with a diving catch by Landon Hairston, the new right fielder. What a way to win the game, Todd Walker. Great play in right field for the third out. And Louisiana, who had a six-run lead, loses this one nine to seven. But how about the job by Marco Pacheco when he came in the game? He just slammed the door. Louisiana scored the one run in the sixth. But Arizona able to hang on, and they go to the championship game tomorrow night against California.